Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to give you a short Studio One tip uh, that you may not know about. I want to show you how you can easily convert your audio files to a different resolution and sample rate and I also want to show you how to remove any unused files from your session and we'll talk a little bit about that in one second. So quick tip here this week but before we get to that if you like what you see in this video please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell and if you are a Studio One user and you probably are if you're watching this video or if you're someone thinking from converting from another DAW to Studio One. I have an enormous amount of training on my website at homerecordingmadeeasy.com that is Studio One specific training, perfect for beginners and people new to Studio One. You could check out the three courses that are on my website. I'm sure you'll see an image on the screen. Links will be in the description box below. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a discount on that stuff too. So stick around. So let's jump in here to Studio One. So we have a session here. We have a session with, let's say, 13 tracks, okay? I wanna show you two things you can do in the pool that's pretty cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our browser here in the bottom right-hand corner, and we're gonna come up to the menu bar at the top here, we're gonna navigate over to pool. It's next to the shop. If I spread the browser out here, you'll see the pool, okay? Now the pool is nothing more than just a bin, if you will, that holds all the audio files that are in your session, okay? So the first thing I wanna show you is that um, you'll see in the pool here, we have a lot more audio files in this list than we actually have on our screen. Now that can happen for several reasons. Let's say you're recording uh, vocal parts and you record four or five vocal takes and you end up keeping take number four and the other three vocal takes you don't need anymore so you delete them from your edit screen. Well, those aren't really gone. Those end up in the pool and they're still here or alternate guitar takes or things like that. So anything that you have recorded and or imported into Studio One, audio file wise, onto your edit screen that you have deleted because you no longer need, they don't go away permanently, they are in the pool. So, one good thing that you can do, one good housekeeping thing I do when I'm a finishing up a mix or finishing up a session, or especially if you're gonna send off your session to a mixing engineer to get mixed or mastered, um, you may wanna clean up your session before you send them the files so they don't get all the junk that you don't need and it'll keep the file, the session file size down. So let me show you how to do that. Open up the pool. You can click anywhere here at the bottom in the gray area. We could do Command A or Select All on a Mac. On a PC you can just highlight or I think it's Windows A. Okay, now we can just right click once they're all um, selected and we can say uh, where is it here? Removed unused files. Okay, so we're going to click that and it's going to give us a dialog box and it's going to say all these files that are in the pool we are not currently using. Are you sure you want to get rid of all of these? Now you can click delete files permanently once you, you know, kind of verify that you're not going to need these files anymore and you can hit yes and now it's going to shrink our pool down to the size of what's on the edit screen, what's being used. So that's the first tip. That's a really good thing that when you save your session and you go to export it or what have you, you'll only, and you're gonna send it off to somebody else, you'll only have the stuff that's really, you know, that we're, that's uh, needed for this particular session. That's the first thing I wanna show you. Second tip of this video I wanna show you is how do you convert the audio files? Let's say if we come into our pool and we click on our kick drum here, You'll see down in the bottom here in the player, we can preview that file in this little preview player. We can also see that it's 44 124 bit mono, but let's say we wanted to convert it to, you know, 48K or what have you. And we can go through and check all of our, they're all 44 124 bit. Let's say you wanna run at a higher resolution. How do you do that? Well, once again, you can just go ahead and you can select all of them and you can right click here and you can come down to convert files right here in the center. And this will let you convert the files. So now we convert them. We can convert them to a, any one of these file types here. Okay. Um, we can stay wave. We can go say 32 bit float if we wanted to, and we can convert them to say 48 K or 96 or 176 or 192, depending on what you want to work on. Just keep in mind that when you increase the sample rate, you're increasing the resolution, but you're also increasing the size of the file, right? So just keep, you have a big session, just keep that in mind. But let's say we want to go to 48K, 32-bit 48K, we hit OK. Now it's going to go through and is going to convert all of our files. And it usually takes a few minutes. Again, it depends on the size of the session. That's an easy way to go ahead and do that. And then all of these files will now be 
at the higher resolution. So that is how, and I'll just cancel this so you can see how that's done. Those are two things that you can do in the pool that you might not know about. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do in here as well. We'll do that for another video, but I wanna thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Now, like I said at the beginning, I want you to go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because if you're a Studio One user, I have the perfect beginner's training courses for you. I'll leave an image up on the screen. Link will be in the description box below. And if you want to take one of those courses and try them out, I want to give you a 25% discount. I want to give you a coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. If you put YouTube, YouTube 25 in at checkout, it will take 25% off any training course on my website, not just the Studio One courses. Keep in mind that all the other courses that are on my website, even if they're not Studio One specific training, all of my generic mixing, mastering, EQ, compression, and recording courses are all done in versions of Studio One. So everything on my website, no matter what the course is, I do in Studio One, but I have a whole page dedicated just to you beginners of Studio One. So go ahead and use that coupon code. Let me know in the comments below if you're a Studio One user, what version of Studio One are you using? And let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other things you want me to show you in Studio One. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everybody.